Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. You are looking live at Southwood County Park here in Wisconsin Rapids as Zaleski Sports brings you high school baseball. This afternoon, the Lakeland Thunderbirds take on Abby Colby. Good afternoon again, everybody. Joe Anderson here bringing you today's play-by-play, -play, joined on the broadcast by producer extraordinaire, Mr. Cale Jacoby. A non-conference matchup between these two teams. Lakeland comes into this matchup at 1-1. One one. They are head coached by Steve Anderson. Their last game was last week, a 7-3 win at Adams Friendship. And coming up for the Thunderbirds, they've got two games the remainder of the week. They play Thursday and Friday, Thursday at Crandon, and Friday at Pacelli. <clears throat> Excuse me, the, the, of course, the Thunderbirds members of the Great Northern Conference. That consists of Anago, Lakeland, Medford, Mosinee, Northland Pines, Rhinelander, and Tomahawk at this point in time. The only team that hasn't had a game yet is Anago. Everybody else is either 1-0, 3-0, and or 2-1. and Of course, Rhinelander and Tomahawk come in at 0-1 and 0-2, respectively. Last season, the Thunderbirds finished at 8-14. and They were 5-7 and in conference. They finished for fourth place. They have three seniors, Danny Gabler, or Danny Gaylor, Leonard Chosa, and Nate Ariola. Abby Colby on defense here, first of all. Let's look at the defense of setup for head coach Ryan Bargander and Abby Colby. Behind the plate is Blake Bargander. At first base, Carlos Lara. Nano Lopez is at second base. Corin Decker mans the hot corner at third. J.V. Castillo at shortstop. The outfield left to right, A.J. Broadhagen, Evan Rice, and Preston Bunkelman. And on the hill this afternoon for Abby Colby is Peyton Schreiber. We look at Peyton Schreiber on the hill for pitching, leading the team in wins with two. He's pitched seven innings, allowed two hits, four walks, 12 strikeouts, and has a 0, 0.00 ERA. Ryan Bargender, of course, the head coach of Abby Colby. They come into this matchup at 2-2. Two and two. Their last game was last Friday, a 12-2 win at, at home versus Unity. They will play tomorrow versus Shawam versus Shawamigan, and Friday they will travel to Shawamigan. And we're ready to start things here as leading off for the Lakeland Thunderbirds is Ashton Bremer, and he hits a single right at Castillo, a line drive, one pitch, one out. And that will bring up Logan Gray Ives. Number two on his jersey, Lakeland in their black tops with the gray pinstripes, gray numbers, letters, white pants. Of course, this is an artificial turf field. One of the reasons why they've moved the game here with all the snow and rain we've had the last few weeks. That pitch inside. Count as one and one. Schreiber in his windup, the righty gets a strike two. Schreiber leading the team in wins with two. That pitch low for a ball. Did he go? He went. So a strikeout credited to Schreiber. Two up, two down. That brings up the number three hitter, Danny Gaylor, the shortstop. G-A-H-L-E-R, Danny Gaylor. That pitch high and inside for ball one. Two high schools with very esteemed baseball programs co-oping here for about the last five, six years. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Abbotsford and Colby separated by about four miles. Call the ball. Two and one to count. Here's the pitch. Slap foul down the third baseline. Hey, friends, Russell's of Nielsville has more of what you're looking for. Stop in today on Highway 10 East in Nielsville or online at russellsofneilsville.com. 2-2 Two -two pitch. Inside, full count now to Gaylor. 
JBC Screen Printing and Embroidery of Nielsville is the hometown team for all your screen printing, embroidery, and promotional product needs. For friendly, helpful service and competitive pricing, call 715-743-3113 or visit jbcscreenprinting.com. Gaylor draws the full count walk with two away, and that'll bring up the number four hitter, Nate Ariola. Gaylor at first, two away, Ariola the batter. Carlos Lara, the first baseman holding him on. Pitch low and inside for ball one. Pretty lucky to be working with producer extraordinaire Kale Jacoby today. And that pitch, that ball gets away from Lara. Is he going to go for three? Yes, he is. Date Gaylor is going to come into third base. That pickoff play from Schreiber got away from Lara. Gaylor scrambles over to third on the air. Who would you give that error to, sir? First baseman or pitcher? Okay. <laughs> Kale said he has no opinion on it. I have to call it. There's a strike called. I'm going to put it, make it an E3. E, E3. Right after you. <laughs> the Viceroy of Video, the Maestro of the Modulator. Off speed pitch up high. <laughs> It happens to me every once in a while, too, especially in basketball. I'll look down on something, and somebody will do a great play, and you're like, what? <laughs> Inside. Schreiber not afraid to keep the batters off that plate. Runner at third with two outs. Here's the pitch from Schreiber. Popped up against the screen. Hiller's True Value, Center Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. Get the tools you trust from the people you can depend on. Hiller's True Value in Marshfield. I can attest to that. I bought a Sawzall from them a while ago. Got a good deal. Here's the pitch. Swing and a miss for strike three. Thunderbirds threaten but do not score. Four up, three down. We in, have played a half inning. We're scoreless here at Wisconsin Rapids. You are watching High School Baseball on Zaleski Sports. Your search for a new car or truck starts at Gross Motors of Nielsville. Gross Motors of Nielsville will provide a stress-free car buying experience backed by a lifetime engine warranty on new vehicles and most used vehicles and always the guaranteed best price. Step inside to work with a member of our expert sales staff. Gross Motors in Nielsville also has a full service department to keep you on the road. The team here at Gross Motors in Nielsville is looking forward to meeting you soon. Hiller's True Value in Marshfield, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. The tools you trust from the people you can depend on. Shop the store within a store and find what you're looking for. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Now that's what I was looking for. Looks like you found what you're looking for. We redesigned our store to offer the biggest selection of Milwaukee tools. A selection so big you'll need a map to find your way out. Hiller's True Value in Marshfield, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. Welcome back to Zaleski Sports Broadcast of High School Baseball. Bottom of the first, scoreless here. Lakeland on the defense. Let's look at the defense, by the way. For Lakeland, since we're talking about it. Ashton Bremer is behind the plate catching today. Drew Warren at first. Logan Gray Ives, the second baseman. Jordan Trombello at third. Danny Gaylor, the shortstop. Landon Herrick is in left. I didn't write the center fielder down. Evan Wright. No, not Evan Rice. <laughs> I'll be darned. Merrick Trotter is the center fielder. There we go. Sorry, Merrick. 
And Nate Ariola in right. Ben Peterson on the hill for the Thunderbirds. Leading off is J.V. Castillo for Abbotsford. And the speedy Castillo takes ball one in the dirt. J.V., a very talented football running back. Count even at a ball in the strike. Kind of took a nick on the knee towards the end of the season and was on the basketball team. Didn't really get a lot of playing time until the second part of the season. But this young man can fly when he's got a lot of quickness. Peterson's pitch up the middle. Ives scoops it over to first. And a good catch for Drew Warren for out number one. Gross Motors of Nielsville, have you heard the news? Gross Motors has moved their Ford dealership to Nielsville, creating the largest, largest Chevy, Ford, Chrysler, Jeep, and Ram dealership in central Wisconsin, all in one location. Shop Gross Ford, now in Nielsville. Evan Rice from the left-hand side of the batter's box takes strike one from Peterson. J.V. Castillo and Blake Bargander leading the hit parade for Colby Abbey. Castillo with 429 and Blake Bargander at 357. This is Evan Rice. <clears throat> he takes a strike. Get to put my umpiring blues on tomorrow for softball. First time in four years. It'll be interesting. And that pitch is... Really can't say it's in the dirt, it's in the turf. Don't forget, friends, Stop Construction is a premier builder of municipal and industrial water and wastewater treatment systems in the Midwest. Stop Construction, a 100% employee owned company. Right past Ives in the right center field for a base hit for Evan Rice. One away, one on for catcher Blake Bargander. Bargander hitting 357 on the season. Pitch from Peterson outside for ball one. Pretty good lead for Rice at first. Not too much, but a probably a, there he goes. Hit and run is on right to the shortstop. They want to get a chance at first base, and he's throwing the throw is high from Gaylor. And Bargander will reach on the air and get second base. Runners at second and third with one out. Peyton Schreiber can help his own cause here, the pitcher for Abby Colby. Bargander had the hit and run on that last play, and high throw from Gaylor. Warren couldn't track it down until it was bouncing off the foul fence here. Swing and a miss. Big swing. If you've never been here to Southwood County Park, you need to come here. This is a beautiful facility. Four diamonds, two softball, two baseball, all turf. Just a great place to watch a game. And that ball in the turf... And the run comes in as Evan Rice will score on the wild pitch. So two errors in the inning. It brought in the first run of the contest. Schreiber still the batter. Slaps one at the shortstop. He scoops it. Good throw by Gaylor. He gets the out. And another run comes in as an RBI... For Schreiber, makes it 2-0. Two away with bases empty for Carlos Lara, the first baseman. Carlos, a rather solid young man, tall. Kind of reminds me of Big Poppy, just a big kid. 
and he slices that to right field, and a good catch from Nate Ariola to end the inning. Two runs come in on no hits, nobody left. One inning complete, two to nothing. Abby Colby, you're watching high school baseball on Zaleski Sports. Come to Russell's of Nielsville for all your design service needs. From cabinets to countertops, appliances to flooring, our design specialist is here to design and plan your kitchen or bath space. Stop in and see our design team today. Why work for Staub Construction? Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good. and They, I believe, truly care about their employees. Staub has a a great benefits package. Staub is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. And everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Staub Construction. Apply now at staubco.com. Witness the difference of a Catholic education at Columbus Catholic Schools. I think everyone should just know um, what makes this place special. Come and see. That's just what the Lord always said. And put your toe in the water. There are great schools and it's a good fit. I'd always want them to come in and to just feel the goodness and the family atmosphere. I invite everyone just to come in and see what it's about and to see if it might be right for them and their family. We invite you to schedule a tour today. Welcome back to Zaleski Sports Broadcast of High School Baseball. Joe Anderson here, joined by Cale Jacoby on production. Top of the second inning, Thunderbirds at bat. Our friends from Mutual of Wausau Insurance, they've been protecting homes, farms, and businesses since 1875. Visit mutualofwausau.com to find an agent near you. Coach Anderson for the uh, Thunderbirds trotting over the third base. No relation. Jordan Trombello will lead things off here in the top of the second for the Thunderbirds. And Schreiber starts him out with a strike. <coughs> Right-hander from the windup. Little chopper. It's going to be fielded by Lopez at second. Guns at the first. Got the out. Interesting thing about pitching, uh, my high school baseball coach, Joe Vitsenda, who's been at Royal since 1969 or 68, longest serving and most winning as coach in high school baseball in history in Wisconsin. We talked about pitching last summer. I had a chance to meet him and chat with him. And he has gotten away from the windup. He says he has everybody pitching from the stretch. That ball sliced in the right center. It's going to drop for a base hit. Could be two. Tracked down by Rice at center. And a stand-up double for Drew Warren to right center field. I'll finish that story quickly. And I asked him what, why a lot of pitchers go with the stretch instead of doing the windup. And he says, just another motion you got to learn. You're just better off just staying with one motion. A lot less thinking on the part of the pitcher. Merrick Trotter, the batter, the center fielder, his first at bat here. First hit given up by Schreiber. Swing and a miss for strike one. C.J. Smith, the D.H. on deck. Schreiber gets the sign, comes set, checks the runner, comes to the plate. High for a ball. Schreiber wanted that pitch just a little bit too high. Gets the sign from Bargander. Not much of a lead. It's second. Swing and a miss for strike two. Overcast day. Sun trying to peek its way out, but... Clouds hanging pretty tough. Yeah, it was kind of hard to see the uh, eclipse today. <laughs> I took a picture of it for my family. It was clouds. Woo, inside and hit him. So Trotter takes a hit by pitch. That'll put runners at first and second. 
with one out. Infield fly rule is in effect. Veteran umpiring crew on today. That pitch inside. C.J. Smith, the D.H. Checks the runners. Here's the pitch. Whoa, he went for that one. It was high cheese. <clears throat> Should be one and one the count. Little ground ball. Could be trouble. Laura will get the out at first. It'll move the runners over. Two outs. Warren now at third. And Trotter at second. It'll bring up the number nine hitter, Ben Peterson. Peterson hitting from the left-hand side. Two on, two out. Schreiber, the pitch, strike. A lot of baseball and softball action upcoming on Zaleski Sports, so keep tuned. Mother Nature determines an awful lot of whether the games are played or not. Fly ball, center field, could be trouble. Rice calls everybody off and makes the catch for out number three. Thunderbirds threaten but do not score. Inning and a half complete. It's Abby Colby 2, Lakeland 0. You are watching High School Baseball on Zaleski Sports. Culligan Water delivers from your first call to your first sip to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older. I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys. Me! <laughs> hey, Mike, I'm Sheila from Security, and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood, and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? Hi, I'm Shad from Next Step Prosthetics. Five years ago, we opened our practice to provide life-changing prosthetics that are both comfortable and functional. I would definitely recommend Shy. Shy is very compassionate, caring. We've grown to serve patients throughout Wisconsin. We want to thank them, their families, and providers who have trusted us on the journey. Go to Next Step, because it's gonna change your life. Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no obligation evaluation. Let us take the next step together towards a better life. Welcome back to Zaleski Sports Broadcast of High School Baseball. We head to the bottom of the second inning with Abby Colby leading Lakeland 2 to nothing. Hey friends, find your next career path with just a phone call to Express Employment Professionals with locations in Wausau, Stevens Point, and Marshfield. No matter where you are in central Wisconsin, Save yourself some time and find your next employer at ExpressPros.com. And the Grey Dog Axe throwing is now open in Marshfield. It's fun for all ages, eight and older, so bring the whole family. Join a league or plan a party. Book your awesome experience today. Visit GreyDogAxe.com or find them on Facebook for more information. Umpire is working a little bit with Ben Peterson on his foot placement on the pitcher's rubber during the break time there. Got to keep that foot in contact with the plate in a certain way. Say most, most pitchers now have gone away from the windup. If you go back and you look at pitchers from major league pitchers from the 40s and 50s, they had that big arms loop de loop and up and like up and down. That's all kind of gone away now. 
bottom of the second, A.J. Broadhagen, Nano Lopez, and Preston Buckleman, Bunkleman up do up for Abby Colby. This is Broadhagen, the left fielder. Takes strike one from Peterson. Don't worry, we'll talk about Major League uniforms yet, too. You know me and, me and uniforms. <laughs> no. <laughs> Well, I have a thing. I have a thing, Kale. I don't know if you ever worked many, much baseball with me. I'm the old traditionalist. I like the stirrups. Oh, yeah. yeah, I like the socks. And so far, only one from the Thunderbirds, that's Ives at second, is uh, styling the stirrups today. I just like the teams wear different colored jerseys. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But if you've seen a – tell you what, we'll let Broadhagen take a swing and a miss, and he will end up striking out. Good pitch from Peterson. One away. That is his first strikeout of the game. Oh, I knew what I forgot to put in the bottom of my scorebook. Okay. Nano Lopez, the second baseman at bat. Where's number three on his jersey? No, if you've heard the major league issue with the new uniforms, they look like stuff that junior high kids would wear. They're, they're just, they just look, they don't look like major league uniforms. The numbers are smaller. Shot to right field. Scooped up by Ariola, thrown back in the infield, so a single for Nano Lopez. But the numbers, the numbers look cheap. The they're lower down. The na players' names are much sp smaller print and font. All the Abbotsford players yelling back after Lopez has been there for about 10 seconds. This is Preston Bunkelman. Okay, I've had my rant about baseball uniforms. These uniforms that these lads are, are wearing look really sharp. Only trouble is you've got black, black jerseys and white pants, so sometimes it's kind of hard to discern them. Big swing and a miss for Bunkelman. Preston, the number eight hitter in the lineup for Abby Colby. Throw back to first. Drew Warren keeping him close. Lopez a pretty decent lead at first. There he goes. Throw to second is way off line. And a stolen base for Nano Lopez. Lopez at second with one away. Bunkelman awaits the pitch from Peterson. Outside for a ball. Two and two. Corin Decker on deck for Abby Colby. Pretty good showing of fans here today. It's about a three-hour drive almost for Lakeland. And a fake throw back to second. When I talked to some of the lads in the dugout for Lakeland. They said it's about a two-and-a-half-hour drive. Swing and a miss. Second strikeout for Ben Peterson. Two away. That'll bring up the number nine hitter, Corin Decker. Lopez at second. And the right-handed hitting Corin Decker in the box. He takes strike one. No dirt on this field, all turf. Fouled back. You'll see kind of it looks like a discoloration around home plate. You'll see a lot of black and that and intermixed in the brown turf. That's all those little rubber pellets that help provide the cushion. Peterson checks the runner, comes to the plate. Hi, ball two. My son Alec, who played football 
when he would play on turf. He never liked it because the game would get done and you'd be covered in black pellets. A pitch outside. Two and two the count. Two outs. Lopez at second. Inside. Full count. Peterson checks the runner and comes to the dish. Swing and a miss for strike three. Three strikeouts in the second inning for Ben Peterson. We've got two in the books. It's two to nothing. Abby Colby over Lakeland. You are watching High School Baseball on Zaleski Sports. Let your job journey begin at Express Employment Professionals. Find hundreds of employers looking for a candidate like you, all in one place at one time. And let Express Employment help connect you with your future career. With locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford, you'll find local jobs right in your community, including direct hire and evaluation to hire opportunities. Express Employment specializes in light industrial, skilled trades, professional, and office careers. Begin your job journey today with Express Employment Professionals at Express PressPros.com. Chili Implement, located just west of Marshfield in Chile, is your Kubota dealer in central Wisconsin. Big or small, Chili Implement has all the best equipment waiting for you. From farm tractors to lawn care, plus work and have fun in a Kubota side-by-side. -side. Choose Chili Implement for your parts and service too. Chili Implement, open Monday through Saturday to serve you and 24-7 online at ChiliImplement.com. Come to Russell's of Nielsville for all your design service needs. From cabinets to countertops, appliances to flooring, our design specialist is here to design and plan your kitchen or bath space. Stop in and see our design team today. Welcome back to Zaleski Sports Broadcast of High School Baseball. Hey friends, Sports Scene in Marshfield is your official fanwear store for player jerseys, hats, autograph memorabilia, and more. Sports Scene, up the stairs from World Buffet in the Marshfield Mall. And don't forget Fleet Farm. You can pick up all your pet's favorites from Fleet Farm. Find everything from food and treats to toys and health products under one roof from the brands you trust. Dogs or cats, they got you covered. Shop your pet's essential, everyday essentials at Fleet Farm. Top of the third, and it's 2 nothing. Abby Colby. Top of the order with Ashton Bremer. Bremer up. Popped up to Danny Gaylor, or pardon me, to J.V. Castillo at short in the first. Peyton Schreiber falling a little bit behind. The pitch inside. Swing and a miss. Two strikeouts on the afternoon so far for Schreiber and one walk. One hit batter. Little chopper. Back to Schreiber. He picks it up over to Lara for out number one. One away will bring up Logan Gray Ives, a strikeout victim in the first. He's sporting the stirrups there, Kale. I, I, I like that. I'm just an old school guy. I mean, that's how we wore him back in the day. I don't know if I'm a fan of the full, full socks, the full colored socks. I'm not sure about that. Do like the stirrups though. Strike call. Base is empty, one away here in the top of the third. Outside for ball. 
Blake Bergender pretty good behind the dish. Scoops that up. Abbotsford's got a very nice ball diamond. I've not ever called a game there, an umpire to game there, but I know it is from driving by. It looks nice, but Mother Nature has done a number on a lot of different parks th lately with the rain and snow. That's a strikeout for Ives. Two away brings up Danny Gaylor. Drew a walk in the first. Got stranded at third. Check swing foul. The on deck hitter will pick up the ball. Other games in the Great Northern tonight. Mosinee is at Medford and Crandon is at Tomahawk. Everybody's played a game in the Great Northern except for Anago. They are 0 and 0. Pitch, chopper foul, oh, line foul down the third baseline. One and two, the count. Down to third base, Decker. And a good stretch for Lara for out number three. So three up, three down. No runs, no hits, no errors. Nobody left. We head to the bottom of the third. Abby Colby leading Lakeland 2-0. You're watching High School Baseball on Zaleski Sports. Good day. My name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fetacaseri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edom, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. After a couple years of a job that doesn't fit, it's time for more money, more opportunity. That is where Mid-State Technical College comes in. Would cooking be a good fit? Try on a career in welding. Perhaps the outdoors suits you better. Or maybe helping people is a better fit. No matter your path, we've got cutting edge classes with field trained professionals and better tuition options, making Mid-State the perfect fit. For over 50 years, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield has served the area with a talented expertise of a big city dentistry with a hometown feel. With our multi-specialty staff and board certified periodontics and orthodontics, Dental Clinic of Marshfield has solutions for your family. We take pride in being in network with an array of insurance companies to meet the needs of our communities and our patients. No matter what your dental need, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield will be there for you. Welcome back, friends. We head to the bottom of the third inning. Abby Colby leading Lakeland 2-0. Joe Anderson here joined by Cale Jacoby on production. And Ben Peterson's first pitch in the dirt, so to speak. It's in the turf. The JV Castillo. Castillo 0 for 1. Ground out to Ives at second. And a swing and a miss. Count even and a ball and a strike. Pretty nice day out. I mean, it's overcast. It's kind of gloomy looking. It's around 55, 50 degrees. It is a windy day, but we're kind of in a little bit more isolated windbreak area here, so it doesn't not really affecting much. Kayla and I are up in a nice, cozy, comfortable press box. He and I both know how much fun it is to sit outside on a table. <laughs> The old Zaleski mobile that I drive, my Ford 500, it's, I had to put all my summer gear in that weighs it down. Slaps a base hit to left field, does Castillo. Herrick kind of muffs it, but keeps it in front of him. So Castillo, one for two in the afternoon with a base hit to left. 
Yeah, the trouble with the old Seleski mobiles, the suspension's pretty bad, especially in the back, and now with all that weight, whenever I hit a good bump, it goes thunk. <laughs> I don't know what's hitting what, but I don't like that sound. Rice, the batter. Evan with a single in the first and scored the first run. Peterson will check the runner. There goes Castillo. And another stolen base for Abby Colby. One and one count to Evan Rice, the center fielder. Peterson checks Castillo at second. Pitch high for a ball. Two and one. Pitch outside, three and one. See if Rice can do some damage here. Three and one count. The pitch, little number, it's going to go foul. Tracked down by Trombello in front of the Abby Colby bench. Abby Colby with only one sophomore on the squad. And Corin Decker, a lot of seniors and a lot of freshmen. And a few juniors. Fly ball left field. And Herrick can't reach it. Here comes the speedy Castillo. And the relay will not be anywhere near close. So Castillo will score run number three. So an RBI double for Evan Rice makes it three to nothing. That would have been a phenomenal catch for Landon Herrick and left. That ball was slicing away from him. He was on the run. This is Blake Bargander, the batter. Evan Rice at second with that RBI double to bring in J.V. Castillo. Still nobody out here in the bottom of the third. Stan, uh, Abby Colby has taken advantage of Ashton Bremer behind the plate. Bremer not able to throw at a runner. And there's a popped up fly ball. It's going to be in foul territory. A lot of room, but they can't get to it. One of those tailing away and running out of real estate. Good hustle for Ariola, Ives, and Warren. Peterson checks his fielders, make sure everybody's set. Bargander tried to inside out that pitch. Takes a strike. Good pitch. Other games in the Merriwood North where Abby Colby plays. Elko is at Prentice and Rib Lake is at Spencer. And right up the middle, could be trouble. Gloved over to first, got him out. Nice play for Danny Gaylor to throw out Bargander. One out. Rice will advance to third. It's a baseball umpire. I never liked being where the guy is on the on the uh, field, the plate, uh, the base umpire. That's a dangerous spot to be in because you got to really be awake. This kid hit hits one right up the middle, and without a glove or any protection, you got to be quick as a cat to get out of the way. Softball not so bad because you stand behind the fielders. But a veteran crew of blue on, on the field today doing a good job. Runner at third, one out. Schreiber the batter, swing and a miss. Two and one the count. Peterson's pitch. High, ball two. 
Nice to be able to put the headset back on. It's been about six weeks. Thanks for tuning in this afternoon. Peterson delivers. Fly ball. Left field. It's a bomb. Oh, my gosh. Off the fence. Extra bases. One run is in. And a stand-up RBI double for Peyton Schreiber. Another three feet, and that would have been out of the out of the park. Wow, what a bomb for Peyton Schreiber. It's now four to nothing. Carlos Lara. Flown well to Nate Ariola in the first in right field. His first at bat. Still one out, runner at second. And Lara slaps one the right center field. They're going to send him. And it's going to the fence. And Lara, oh my gosh, the big man is. Oh, I thought maybe they would try to send him to third. <laughs> he had the wheels moving. <laughs> I thought for sure they might try to send him. I think he would have made it. I don't think I would have liked to have been Jordan Trombello and seen Carlos coming right at me full of speed at third base. Three runs here in the, in the third. <laughs> it brings up A.J. Broadhag in the left fielder. Strikeout victim in the second. <laughs> Carlos Lara, big hit the right center. Back-to-back -back RBA doubles for Abby Colby. Broadhagen batting from the left side. The pitch from Peterson, low for a ball. Still one out. Back-to-back -back RBI doubles for Abby Colby. Looking to add more. They've scored three here in the th bottom of the third. Swing and a miss. Strike two. 2-2. Two -two. Nano Lopez on deck. And struck out looking, does Broadhagen. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. For the left fielder, two away. Nano Lopez, the batter, had a single in the second and was stranded at second base. Starts him out with the strike. Base ground ball. Gaylor. Safe! Warren couldn't dig it out of the turf. So Lopez reaches on an air by Warren. And this will bring up Preston Bunkelman, strikeout victim. In the second. Throw back the first. He's back and safe. That is a tough call for a first for the play base umpire to make, and he made a good one. People might complain about that, but he had a good view. He planted. He saw the play. He waited and made the call. Swing and a miss for a strike. 0 oh 2 to Preston Bunkelman. Runners at the corners with two outs. Hit up the middle. And got him. Good play for Gaylor to get the out. Abby Colby adds three more to their tally to make it 
Five nothing after three. You're watching high school boys baseball on Zaleski Sports. Bauer and Fine has been based in Marshfield since 1955. And if you're in business that long, you're obviously doing many things right. We always focus on selling world-class products, backing it up with world-class customer support. Working with Bauer and Fine Business Technologies has been a pleasure. We have staff on call that we can call if we ever have issues, and the printer usability has been really easy, user-friendly. Give us a call, visit our website. We'd be happy to come in, talk to you. Maybe there's a way we can help you save some money and work more efficiently. From humble beginnings in 1904, the Wietrick family has grown grassland dairy products into one of the largest processors of butter in the nation. Based in Greenwood, Wisconsin, the family and its hundreds of employees continue their pursuit of providing high quality products that can proudly be served in restaurants and homes across America. Good day, my name is Ken Hyman and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fetacaseri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Welcome back to baseball here in Wisconsin Rapids between Lakeland and Abby Colby. Joe Anderson here, joined by Cale Jacoby. We head to the top of the fourth. Five nothing, Abby Colby with the lead. Nate Ariola leading things off for the Thunderbirds. Hi, Steve. <laughs> That's some good news after I just got some bad news. I owe tax money. And we're not talking a couple of dollars. We're talking a lot. I'm going to have to get a raise from Steve and Jason. <laughs> Pitch draws a walk, does Areola in the top of the fourth. Death and taxes are two things you can't get away from. <laughs> Not going to have a sad drive home. <laughs> Pitch inside. <laughs> I could laugh now, but not when I write the check. Jordan Trombella, the batter, 0 for 1. Grounded out to Lopez at second. And check swing for a strike. Peyton Schreiber doing well today. He struck out three. Only walked one. Yet to allow a run to score. Snap throw back to first. And Ariola scrambles back. <laughs> you were across the way, weren't you? Yeah, okay. Why did why why did they play here? Is their field a little soggy? Yeah. Okay. Steve just did some assumption softball across the way and this baseball field, these baseball fields and softball fields are pretty popular this time of year. And you got turf. You're not dealing with mud. And foul. So Trombello hangs. Sun kind of starting to peek out a little bit from the clouds, but another bank of heavy clouds coming in. And foul down the third first baseline made the first base coach kind of jump out of the way. Pitch. 
strike three looking for Trombello. That brings up Drew Warren. Warren with a double in the second inning and stranded at third. Four strikeouts on the afternoon for Peyton Schreiber. Foul down the third baseline. Runner at first, one out. Checks the runner. The pitch. Foul down a third baseline. That pitch high for a ball. Two and two the count. To Drew Warren, Nate Ariola at first. The pitch, swing and a miss, strike three. Two away brings up Merrick Trotter, and Merrick was hit by a pitch in the second. That pitch gets by Bargander. That will allow Ariola to advance to second. <laughs> Got to give a shout out here in a minute to Kale. We'll talk about his travels that are coming up. Fly ball, right field. Bunkelman makes the catch for out number three. Ab Lakeland scoreless after four. We head to the bottom of the fourth. It's Ab Abby Colby five. Lakeland, nothing. You're watching high school baseball on Zaleski Sports. At the Granite Shop, we take great pride in what we do. We offer high quality natural stone granite as well as a huge selection of man made stone. With full slabs as well as a variety of partial remnants, you'll have no problem finding the stone that was meant for you. Our high-end, high-quality granite, quartz, and marble is perfect for any. Hi, I'm Big Clarence, and I'm so terrific that Mall Furniture decided to name their latest and greatest sale after me, Big Clarence. Sorry, Clarence, apparently you misunderstood. It's Mall Furniture's clearance sale. And right now, the savings are phenomenal on all the top quality furniture at Mall, Mall Furniture's clearance, clearance sale. sale. That's Mall Furniture's clearance sale. Clarence! That's clearance, Clarence. Your search for a new car or truck starts at Gross Motors of Nielsville. Gross Motors of Nielsville will provide a stress-free car buying experience backed by a lifetime engine warranty on new vehicles and most used vehicles and always the guaranteed best price. Step inside to work with a member of our expert sales staff. Gross Motors of Nielsville also has a full service department to keep you on the road. The team here at Gross Motors of Nielsville is looking forward to meeting you soon. We head to the bottom of the fourth inning here in Wisconsin Rapids in this tr game between Lakeland and Abby Colby. Cale Jacoby on production his last week with us. He's going over the pond to go to school in London for a two-year program. So we wish him well. Learned a lot from Cale. Base hit the center field. No, tracked down by Trotter. Good play. As Smith flies out. Ben Peterson now will bat. The number nine hitter flew out to Trotter in the second inning. You know, they were kind of teasing me a little bit about they should start a GoFundMe for my taxes. <laughs> 
<laughs> well, I can't sell the Zaleski mobile. <laughs> I know that. <laughs> you would have to sell it for scrap. <laughs> Peterson behind an account 0 and 1. Four. Oh my gosh. Fly ball. Could be trouble. Over the head. In center field, it's going to bounce over the wall for a stand up double for Peterson. Trotter had played in and. Trotter had everything he could to race back to try to make a play. Straight center field is 380. He hit it probably about 378 and it bounced over the fence for a stand-up double for the pitcher, Ben Peterson. Brings up the top of the order. Pardon me, that was... De <laughs> Oh, my gosh. That was – this is Evan Rice, the batter. And that was Castillo. I had my wrong book side on. So let's get this right. JV Castillo with a stand-up double. Thank you very much. You're probably at home going, wait a minute. Right idea, wrong team. And you're right. Got so involved worrying about my taxes that I forgot to flip my book over, so I apologize for that. This is Evan Rice, the batter. Evan, two runs scored. He's two for two. So that was JV Castillo with that line shot to dead center field. JV is two for three in the afternoon. A double, a single, and a ground out. Scored a run, and he's at second base. Buckelman takes low for a ball. Peterson still on the mound for the Thunderbirds. Here's his pitch. Popped up, out of play. The Dolman Insurance Agency, LLC, they're family owned and operated. they covering covering homes and businesses and farms in Wisconsin since 1978. Offices on Greenwood, Thorpe, and Go to DolmanInsurance.com. Dolman Insurance. Come for the right. Stay for the service. And we're going to have a meeting of the minds on the pitcher's mound here for the Thunderbirds. Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Let me know. Let me know if you need Good luck. Yep. Thanks. <laughs> Hey, friends, you can get Culligan Water for only $9.95 a month for the first three months. Visit Sterling Culligan Water at CulliganH2O.com. Looks like we're going to have a pitching change possibly here. Try to catch the changes. They don't usually report them up to us. pitcher in for Lakeland. It's number five. And number five is Danny Gaylor. So Danny, Danny Gaylor comes in to pitch. Three and a third for Peterson. One, five, six hits and walked. I don't think he walked anybody. Da, 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 da. No, he did not. So what I have for the pitching line for Ben Peterson of Lakeland, three and a third innings, six hits, no walks, one strikeout, five runs allowed, 
and no hit batters. Danny Gaylor now on the mound for the Thunderbirds. See where everybody's kind of moved around to. Still at bat is Evan Rice. He, he still will belong to Peterson as far as whether it's a hit or a strikeout or a walk. Two and two is the count. Two and two. Gaylor's first pitch. It's a swing and a miss. And that strikeout is credited to Peterson. So two away now and brings up Blake Bargander. Blake on the afternoon. Reached on an air and grounded out. Castillo still at second. Chopper to third. Trombello. And they get the out. Pitching change helps the Thunderbirds as they get out of the inning with no no runs allowed. We've got four in the books. It's 5 nothing. Abby Colby over Lakeland. You're watching High School Baseball on Zaleski Sports. Miller's True Value in Marshfield, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. The tools you trust from the people you can depend on. Shop the store within a store and find what you're looking for. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Now that's what I was looking for. Looks like you found what you're looking for. We redesigned our store to offer the biggest selection of Milwaukee tools. A selection so big you'll need a map to find your way out. Hiller's True Value in Marshfield, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. Come to Russell's of Nielsville for all your design service needs. From cabinets to countertops, appliances to flooring, our design specialist is here to design and plan your kitchen or bath space. Stop in and see our design team today. Why work for Staub Construction? Everybody around you is just family. Everybody seems to bond together and get along good. and They, I believe, truly care about their employees. Staub has a, a great benefits package. Staub is an employee-owned company that uh, puts a, a large emphasis on work-life balance. And everybody wants to see everybody succeed. It's a good place to work. Join the team at Staub Construction. Apply now at staubco.com. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to High School Baseball on Zaleski Sports. Joe Anderson here bringing you play-by-play, -play, joined by Cale Jacoby on production. Yes, I did switch the book over, so I will have the right team at bat this time. Got to give me a little bit of a... Cut me a little bit of slack. I haven't been behind the mic since probably February 27th, something like that. Head to the top of the 5th. And the Thunderbirds bring the bat, C.J. Smith. Peyton Schreiber. And one out on the ground out. We've got a new pitcher for Abby Colby, and it's Evan Rice. I knew they would kind of play tricks on me here. Good pitching move by Ryan Bargander, head coach. Rice on the season. He's pitched six and a third, give up six hits, three runs, walk two, struck out five. He has an ERA of 3.32. Rice on the hill. Castillo has moved to short. No, he stays at short, excuse me. Try to see if I can catch some of the movements here. And this is the number nine hitter, Ben Peterson, for Lakeland. 
And Ben is 0 for 1. Races pitches outside. And struck him out looking. Top of the order with Ashton Bremer, the batter, 0 for 2. Pitching line for Peyton Schreiber, four innings, one hit, two walks, five strikeouts, no runs allowed, and one hit batter. Good pitching line for Schreiber. ERA will remain at zero. That's nice off-speed pitch, got the corner. Coach Bargander. Got a pretty solid bullpen with Schreiber. Rice Yells also has Nano Lopez, A.J. Broadhagen, J.V. Castillo, and Carlos Lara. So another strikeout. Three up, three down. We head to the bottom of the fifth. Abby Colby, five. Lakeland, nothing. You're watching High School Baseball on Zaleski Sports. Witness the difference of a Catholic education at Columbus Catholic Schools. I think everyone should just know um, what makes this place special. Come and see. That's just what the Lord always said. And put your toe in the water. There are great schools, and it's a good fit. I'd always want them to come in and to just to feel the goodness and the family atmosphere. I invite everyone just to come in and see what it's about and to see if it might be right for them and their family. We invite you to schedule a tour today. Culligan Water delivers. From your first call, to your first sip, to your first soak. Culligan, give us a tap. The only water that comes with a van. You're tuned in to Better Halves. Mike, what are you looking for? Skip, I'm not getting older, I'm getting better. I still got big plans for my life and my Medicare. I know exactly what you want from Medicare. Same as all the other guys, me. <laughs> Hey, Mike, I'm Sheila from Security, and I'm just like you. In fact, I'm from your neighborhood, and I've got a Medicare plan that treats you like you. Did it just get better in here? And we're back here for baseball on Zaleski Sports. Joe Anderson here, joined by Kale Jacoby. Making sure I got my right, right stat books up here in the right spot. Bottom of the fifth inning, and it's all it's been all Abby Colby here. As they've scored two in the first, three in the third, and they lead five nothing. Danny Gaylor on the mound for Lakeland. Cooper Johnson has moved to second base. Logan Gray Ives is at short. And I believe Ben Peterson, the starting pitcher, is no longer in playing action at the moment. So here we go. Leading off things for Abby Colby will be Peyton Schreiber. Peyton got an RBI ground out in the first and hit a double RBI double in the third and scored a run. Lights have been on here in Rapids since the game began at 6 p.m. Twilight's starting to set in a little bit. The lights will take effect here. Strike the Schreiber. Gaylor's pitch. Sliced foul. Left field. 
Yeah, Kale is going to head off to school in London next week. April 23rd. April 23rd. Yep. Going across the pond, as they say. <laughs> you're not taking a boat. <laughs> He's taking a boat. No, you're not. <laughs> He's taking a plane. I'm driving one. He's going to fly to London, and boy, will his arms be tired. Boom, <laughs> uh, They're G-rated. They're not funny, but. <laughs> Here's the pitch. Low. Three, two, I believe. Fouls that one off. Can't tell, it's so funny, I can't tell if I'm sitting next to Joe Anderson or Jim Carrey. <laughs> Kale's trying to butter me up now. <laughs> he compared me to Jim Carrey. Jim Carrey doesn't owe any money on his taxes. <laughs> We gotta get that. We gotta get that looked at again. How I don't know how the devil I would owe money. My goodness. Here's the pitch to Schreiber, and fouls that one off his foot. Ooh, that's smarts. I think he fouled that off his left ankle. Yeah. <laughs> Don't rub it, they say. You never want to, you, if it hits you, you never, you want to just walk it off. All the little jinxes of baseball players. Gaylor from the windup. Low, he drew a walk. Or Schreiber drew the walk. Wow. And a temporary lodgings for Kale will be there for two years, almost like the Athletics, who are moving to Sacramento for two years after this year while their new ballpark is being built in Vegas. If you haven't been following that, that's been a soap opera in itself. The opening day crowd at the Oakland Coliseum was announced at 17,000. It looked like about 300. They announced last April they were going to move from Oakland to Vegas, and they had different sites and finally decided on a site at the Tropicana. They're going to try to build an enclosed ballpark on nine acres. Laura takes the pitch low and inside. Now when you compare that to the smallest footprint of a major league baseball stadium, Milwaukee has the smallest as far as the overall footprint with American Family Field with 11 acres. <clears throat> Strike called. The other smaller ones are Wrigley Field in Chicago and the stadium up in Minneapolis for the Twins. And they're around 10. Slapped at the left field is Laura. Carlos, two for three on the afternoon. Runners at first and second for A.J. Broadhagen. A.J. 0 for two. And we're going to have a runner come in for Lara. I believe we'll have a re-entry. The, the runner for Abby Colby is number seven, Owen Hansen. Hanson a little more fleet of foot than Lara. Infield fly rule in effect with runners at first and second and less than two out. We have nobody out here. Swing and a miss for Broadhagen. Well, long story short, the Oakland A's are going to finish out this season 
in Oakland. Then they're going to play in Sacramento for at least two, if maybe not three years. Well, three years they will be, 26, 20, 25, 26, and 27. And their new field is supposed to be open and ready to go in 28. We shall see. Broadhagen awaits the pitch. Outside for a ball. A lot of people upset from Oakland that the A's are moving, but then again, remember the A's have sort of been nomads for a couple, of, a few times. They started out in Philadelphia. Broadhagen swings and misses. Started out in Philadelphia and moved in 54 and went to Kansas City and then moved from Kansas City to Oakland in 68. They've always had an ongoing stadium issue in Oakland. Here's the pitch. Inside and low. Broadhagen looking to get on base here. See what the count is. It's full. Three and two. Left-handed Broadhagen waiting the right-hander, Danny Gaylor. Gaylor gets the sign, checks the runners, comes to the plate. And a walk for Broadhagen. Base is loaded. And nobody out. And Nano Lopez with a single, a stolen base, and he reached on an error. So one for two. And he hits a ground ball to the shortstop. There's one. One run is in. Two runs are in. Good slide by Broadhagen. Lopez gets the RBI in that throw off the mark. That's one of those kind of plays you got to watch out for. If he had gone way out of the baseline, he did take out. He did take out Cooper Johnson at second, the second baseman. But it's got to be malicious contact. You can't just, you know, it's not like it used to be in the major leagues back in the old days where you could kind of. Darn near tackle the second baseman or shortstop on a double play. So one out, one on. And the hit and run was on for Bunkelman. He's looking for his first hit of the afternoon, early evening. He's 0 for 2 with a strikeout and a ground out. 7 nothing. Abby Colby. Runner goes, another stolen base. So Lopez in scoring position, one out. Left-handed hitting Bunkelman looking for his first hit of the game. That will cause Lopez to go back to second. Here's the pitch, outside. Tell you something, this is a beautiful stadium here. This whole complex is just ideal. So tip of the cap to the good people of Wisconsin Rapids. They, when they redid this whole situation here, they did it right. Three and two now to Preston Bunkelman. Corin Decker on deck for Abby Colby. Here's the pitch. Outside for a ball. Second walk of the inning given up by Gaylor.
And we're going to have a meeting of minds on the mound. Let's see if we have a pitching change here. Kale, you head over to Eau Claire tomorrow? Mm -hmm. it's baseball or softball? <laughs> He's good at softball. I think so. Working with Bob Bradovich over in Eau Claire. What do you got? <laughs> Baseball. Baseball at Carson Park. Hey, uh, Carson Park is quite the place to play at, but you got to be awake because you're so high up. There's no f no screen in front of the windows, oh. so a fly ball can come in and say hello pretty quick. I've had a few kind of come close. Yeah, you stand a good chance of that tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> <That's my laughs> Corin Decker to the batter takes ball. Yeah, getting up on getting up to the press area in, in historic Carson Park, you get up there and you walk on the roof. There's stairs on the roof and there's railings, but you get up there and you kind of look down. It's like that's a long way down. <laughs> Beautiful facility to work in. Oh, it's higher than Winter. Uh, I think. I would think. I've 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 never been to press area in Winter though. Oh, you haven't. No, it's way up there. It's there. Yeah. You, Pack a lunch if you're going up there. Bunkelman, or Decker, excuse me, ground out. Gets the fielder's choice. Gets the out at second. Lopez will advance to third. As Bunkelman is thrown out, six to four. Top of the order now, and J.V. Castillo. And the speedy J.V. Castillo, there's no, I mean, those are his initials, but that kid I don't think ever is going to play J.V. in his entire life. I don't think he ever did. Nice try to frame by Bremer on the pitch, but couldn't pull it in fast enough. Had a nice t chat with J.V. after a football game. He's a nice kid. Inside for ball two. Runners at the corners with two away. Castillo, two for three. Well, the run scored. Here's the pitch. Popped up. Playable in center fielder for Trotter. He'll make the catch. And that's it. Two more come in for Abby Colby. They take the lead after five, now seven to nothing. You are watching high school baseball on Zaleski Sports. Hi, I'm Shad from Next Step Prosthetics. Five years ago, we opened our practice to provide life-changing prosthetics that are both comfortable and functional. I would definitely recommend Shy. Shy is very compassionate, caring. We've grown to serve patients throughout Wisconsin. We want to thank them, their families, and providers who have trusted us on the journey. Go to Next Step, because it's going to change your life. Why wait another day? Call to set up a free, no obligation evaluation. Let us take the next step together towards a better life. Let your job journey begin at Express Employment Professionals. Find hundreds of employers looking for a candidate like you, all in one place at one time. And let Express Employment help connect you with your future career. With locations in Stevens Point, Wausau, Marshfield, and Medford, you'll find local jobs right in your community, including direct hire and evaluation to hire opportunities. Express Employment specializes in light industrial, skilled trades, professional, and office careers. Begin your job journey today with Express Employment Professionals at Express Pros.com. Chili Implement, located just west of Marshfield in Chile, is your Kubota dealer in central Wisconsin. Big or small, Chili Implement has all the best equipment waiting for you. From farm tractors to lawn care, plus work and have fun in a Kubota side-by-side. -side. Choose Chili Implement for your parts and service too. Chili Implement, open Monday through Saturday to serve you and 24-7 online at ChiliImplement.com.
Welcome back to Zaleski Sports Broadcast of High School Baseball, ladies and gentlemen. Joe Anderson here, Cale Jacoby on production, the Viceroy of the videotape, the maestro of the modulator. Sixth inning, Logan Gray Eyes will lead things off for the Thunderbirds. Evan Rice on the mound for Abby Colby, his second inning of work. Little number down the first baseline. It goes foul. Logan 0 for 2. Strikeout victim. Once looking and once swinging. Yeah, I might have to send up a go set up a GoFundMe. Oofta. <laughs> I'll be all right. Here's the pitch. Fly ball. Right field, could be treble. Lopez makes the catch at second base for out number one. It'll bring up Danny Gaylor. Gaylor, a walk and a ground out. 0 for 2, or 0 for 1, excuse me. Rice from the stretch. Nice pitch. Starting to get a little chillier out as the sun is setting. And that one of the few pitches today to get by Blake Bargander. Kayla and I are finding a nice roasty toasty press box. <laughs> We're not complaining. Base hit the right field. It's gonna drop. Yep, right in front of Bunkelman. So a good hit for Gaylor. To right field. So one on, one out brings up Nate Ariola. And Nate, the right fielder, 0 for 1 with a strikeout and a walk. Rice's pitch. They put Gaylor in motion, and he gets the stolen base. The one advantage of the cold weather, though, Kale, no mosquitoes. Yes. That's a <laughs> if he, and he's worked enough games at at um, in Marshfield. I was going to say the Bukolt is pretty bad for mosquitoes. I just know in Marshfield at Hackman, as soon as the sun goes down, it's feeding time for the mosquitoes. <laughs> Ground ball to short, scooped up by Castillo. He, oh, he psyched out Gaylor, and they've got him in a rundown. And the, finally the tag made by Peyton Schreiber. So two away now as Ariola reaches on a fielder's choice at first. This is Jordan Trombello, and he fouls one out of play. We might actually have to turn the lights on in here. It's starting to get dark. Smart play by Castillo. On that last hit, caught Gaylor. As Gaylor thought Castillo was going to throw to first, and he faked it and went to third. That ball gets by Bargander. And Trombello ahead in the count, two and one. We're in the top of the sixth at seven to nothing. Abby Colby, that pitch outside. Lakeland's got a 
two and a half hour drive home. And they will suit up again on Thursday. They'll travel to Crandon for their next game. Abby Colby will There's a walk. Two on, two out. As Trombello reaches on a walk. That'll bring up Drew Warren. And Drew a uh, double and a strikeout. One for two. Finishing that thought. Abby Colby with a pair of games with Shawamigan. They play Shawamigan at Abbotsford tomorrow. And then they travel to Shawamigan on Friday. Swing and a miss. Well, they're supposed to warm up a little bit here towards the end of the week. Here's the pitch. Ground ball fair right down the third baseline. Decker will take it for the final out. No runs. One hit. Two left on. We head to the bottom of the sixth. It is Abby Colby, seven, and Lakeland, nothing. You're watching High School Baseball on Zaleski Sports. Come to Russell's of Nielsville for all your design service needs. From cabinets to countertops, appliances to flooring, our design specialist is here to design and plan your kitchen or bath space. Stop in and see our design team today. Good day. My name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Quesa Blanca, Quesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caseri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. After a couple years of a job that doesn't fit, it's time for more money, more opportunity. That is where Mid-State Technical College comes in. Would cooking be a good fit? Try on a career in welding. Perhaps the outdoors suits you better. Or maybe helping people is a better fit. No matter your path, we've got cutting edge classes with field trained professionals and better tuition options, making Mid-State the perfect fit. Welcome back, friends. Head to the bottom of the sixth. It's been all Abby Colby here this afternoon, early evening. Evan Rice will lead things off for Abby Colby here. Evan, on the afternoon, a single, a double, and a strikeout. Two runs scored and an RBI. Danny Gaylor came in to pitch in the fourth. Done pretty well. Looking for his first strikeout. Rice takes a strike there. And pitch outside for a ball. One and two the count. the pitch way outside try to throw a change up and circle change and got away from him especially when it's cold out it's hard to get that good grip on the ball and you just can't paint the fence with it here's the pitch it low works the count full three and two High fly ball. Called by the second baseman. 
by Cooper Johnson, who makes the catch for out number one. It'll bring up Blake Bargander. Blake on the evening reached on an air, scored a run, and two ground outs, so looking for his first hit of the contest, 0 for 3. Gaylor's pitch inside for ball one. Gaylor came in in the fourth and has given up two runs in the fifth. Here's the pitch. Ground ball, third base, scooped up by Trombello. He long gun over to first, gets the out. Nice play for Trombello. For out number two. Peyton Schreiber. Steps into the box with two away here in the bottom of the sixth. His team, his team leading 7 nothing. Twilight setting in here on Southwood County Park. A pitch in the turf. Don't forget we've got the, we don't on our network, but TBS will be showing the national championship game, Purdue and UConn. We don't have that? <laughs> got to give a shout-out again to Kale. He, uh, I'll tell you, he did a marvelous job covering Columbus boys baseball, or basketball, excuse me, shot the – Hit the short, scooped up for out number three. We'll talk more about that after we come af come back after break. You're watching high school baseball on Zaleski Sports. Good day. My name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, Farmer's Cheese, Peach Cheese, Cuesa Blanca, Cuesa de Fira, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Fetacaseri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edom, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. After a couple years of a job that doesn't fit, it's time for more money, more opportunity. That is where Mid-State Technical College comes in. Would cooking be a good fit? Try on a career in welding. Perhaps the outdoors suits you better. Or maybe helping people is a better fit. No matter your path, we've got cutting edge classes with field trained professionals and better tuition options, making Mid-State the perfect fit. For over 50 years, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield has served the area with a talented expertise of a big city dentistry with a hometown feel. With our multi-specialty staff and board certified periodontics and orthodontics, Dental Clinic of Marshfield has solutions for your family. We take pride in being in network with an array of insurance companies to meet the needs of our communities and our patients. No matter what your dental need, the Dental Clinic of Marshfield will be there for you. Killer's True Value in Marshfield, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. The tools you trust from the people you can depend on. Shop the store within a store and find what you're looking for. That's what I was looking for. That's what I was looking for. Now that's what I was looking for. Looks like you found what you're looking for. We redesigned our store to offer the biggest selection of Milwaukee tools. A selection so big you'll need a map to find your way out. Killer's True Value in Marshfield, Central Wisconsin's Milwaukee Tool Destination Center. Welcome back, friends. Last chance for Lakeland as they trail 7 to nothing here in the top of the seventh. New pitcher for Abby Colby is J.V. Castillo. Evan Rice, his pitching line, two innings, one hit, one walk, two strikeouts, no runs. Castillo on the mound for Coach Bargander. The swing and a miss for strike two to Merrick Trotter. Trotter, Smith, Peterson due up for Lakeland here in the top of the seventh. And struck him out. Good pitch for Castillo. Barkender is blessed with a plethora of pitchers. He's got one, two, three, four, five, six 
that he can go to, that's a nice problem to have in high school baseball. C.J. Smith, 0 for 2. Castillo works fast. Gets a strike call. Ground ball. Shortstop. Scooped up. Over to first. Got the out. Two up, two down. Last chance for Lakeland is Ben Peterson. 0 for 2 on the afternoon. Strike. Ben Peterson, the number nine hitter in the lineup for the Thunderbirds. That pitch away. Stick around for the Nason Dairy post game show. Nason Dairy with fresh cheese curds made daily. We can get those fresh cheese curds in Marshfield or Curtis or log on to nasonvildairy.com. The pitch. Fly ball. Left center field. It's going to drop for a base hit. Peterson keeps the Thunderbirds' hopes alive here as leadoff hitter Ashton Bremer. We'll step into the into the plate, up to the plate, 0 for 3. Pop up, ground out, strike out. He takes strike one. The light's taking full effect now on the field. Yeah, we don't have mosquitoes because it's chilly. It's also that one where you see people sweeping off snow from their cars and saying, "We don't have hurricanes. We don't have we don't have alligators." <laughs> Keep that in mind. We don't have hurricanes. We don't have alligators. Chopper is gonna go foul. Scooped up by Corin Decker at third. Two and two. Ground ball through the hole. It's short. Lakeland showing some life here in the top of the seventh. Back-to-back -back singles for the Birds. It'll bring up Logan Gray Ives. Looking for his first hit of the day. Two strikeouts and popped up to shortstop. That pitch inside. Castillo on the mound here in the top of the seventh. For Abby Colby. Popped up. Playable. And the out is made by Nano Lopez. And that will do it as the Abby Colby boys take the win 7 to nothing over Lakeland. Stay tuned for the Nasonville Dairy postgame show. Nasonville Dairy with fresh cheese curds made daily. You can get those fresh cheese curds in Marshfield or Curtis or log on to nasonvilledairy.com.
Good day. My name is Ken Hyman, and welcome to Nasonville Dairy here in central Wisconsin, Marshfield, Wisconsin, as a matter of fact. Nasonville Dairy actually goes back to 1885. We are the oldest plant in Wood County. When our father brought us here in the early 1960s, we ran 7,500 pounds of milk a day. We now run 1.8 million pounds of milk a day. We buy dairy milk from 200 dairy farmers here in central Wisconsin, produce it, and ship it all over the world. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, farmer's cheese, peach cheese, Quesa Blanca, Quesa de Fier, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caceri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. This has allowed us to go to a lot of different countries. Our furthest accounts are now in China, Japan, Canada, Saudi Arabia. We do ship to Mexico, as well as a number of other places throughout the world. This is what we call Cheese Making 101. We tried to walk you through the cheese plant today, and we're in hopes that you see our people, what they're doing, and the amount of work that goes into producing the products that we hope you enjoy. We make a lot of different cheeses. We make cheddar, Colby, Monterey, farmer's cheese, peach cheese, Quesa Blanca, Quesa de Fier, Seco, Parm, Romano, Asiago, Fontina, Feta Caceri, Cafletiri, Cafla Graviera, 20 different flavors of Monterey, as well as making Edam, Gouda, and Munster. And the cheese be with you. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Nasonville Dairy Post Game Show here on Zaleski Sports. Nasonville Dairy with fresh cheese curds made daily. You can get those fresh cheese curds in Marshfield or Curtis or log on to nasonvilledairy.com. Take a look at the book here before we head off home. First of all, for Abby, Co pardon me, for Lakeland, the Lakeland Thunderbirds taking it on the chin tonight by the final score of 7 to nothing. Pitching line for the Thunderbirds. Ben Peterson pitched three and a third. Sick gave up six hits, two struck out two, and gave up five runs. He was relieved by Danny Gabler, Gaylor, excuse me, who pitched two third, two and two thirds, gave up two hits, two walks, and two runs to the Abby Colby team for the pitching line for the Abby Colby jo boys. Peyton Schreiber, four innings, one hit, two walks, five strikeouts, one hit batter. Evan Rice relieved him in the fifth. Pitched two innings, gave up one hit, one walk, struck out two, and in the seventh inning, J.V. Castillo came in, two hits, no walks, one strikeout, and no runs allowed. So another shutout for Abby Colby. Leading hitters for Abby Colby, J.V. Castillo was two for three. Evan Rice also two for three with an RBI, and two runs scored. Peyton Schreiber was one for two, but scored two runs and had two RBI. And Carlos Lara and Nano Lopez, each two for three. Lopez with an RBI in the fifth. The Abby Colby boys improved to three and two on the season. Lakeland falls to one and two overall. Tomorrow, the Abby Colby lads will take on Shawamigan at home. At game time, I believe, is at 4.30. And the next game for Lakeland will be... On Thursday, they will travel to Crandon. Before we sign off, got to give a big shout-out to my producer extraordinaire, 
Kale Jacoby. He's moving over to London to study. Wish him well. It's been a pleasure to work with him. I'll see you sometime next week. I'm booked the rest of the week doing all sorts of other things, but we'll hopefully be back on the air bringing you more baseball and softball here on Zaleski Sports. Thanks for watching. Again, our final score, Abby Colby, 7, Lakeland, nothing. Have a great evening, everybody.